What's up guys, it's me, Child of God here, aka Green Ninja, and today I'm going to showcase my LEGO Bible Advent Calendar. Before I say anything, yes, I've changed my name, indicating that I've changed and that I now follow Jesus and have been saved by Him alone. And secondly, yes, it's been four months since I have uploaded a video, but as I said in my last video, uh, which was the LEGO Ninjago Until the End video, I said that I'm going to be in university. And I'm probably not going to be uploading frequently anymore. And that's true. I haven't had any time to upload anything. But now it's the holidays. It's Christmas time. Merry Christmas. You're watching this video on Christmas Day. Christmas is about Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. I just want all my viewers to understand that and to know that too. In a fun way. Let's start this. So day one is Abraham. And his design is based on his only son movie version of Abraham and all of the pieces are basically Star Wars pieces just recolored so yeah that's Abraham's design let's go to day two which is the Ark of Noah the Ark of Noah is a mini build of the Ark itself and a brick that represents the waters that flooded the whole entire earth so yeah that's the basic design of uh, the Ark of Noah that I was going for and that's our first mini build of the advent calendar so let's go to day three which is another minifigure and that minifigure is Moses Moses is a prophet of God that was sent by God to go ahead and bring his people back to the promised land um, and because they were in Egypt and they were slaves in Egypt so and fun fact with Moses is that his staff can turn into a snake and also can split the Red Sea into two and he can walk on dry land in the Red Sea and why because the power of God that's why God gave power to Moses and he was able to do that only if he was close to God so his design is based on the Ten Commandments design and all again uh, Star Wars pieces so yeah let's go to the next day which is day four and it is the Ten Commandments the Ten Commandments that God gave Moses these Ten Commandments don't actually have the Ten Commandments on them they're just black lines these black lines are to represent those Ten Commandments even though they're not literally ten if you count them they're two tablets pretty easy builds it's literally just two pieces put into one and yeah that's the closest thing i could get to the ten commandments and you can also have moses have those in his hands now let's go to day five which is the ark of the covenant the ark of the covenant is actually not built by me but is built by this user that honestly built one of the coolest and greatest looking ark of the covenants i've seen and yeah it's a pretty cool looking uh, ark of the covenant let's go on to the next build and it is the bronze snake on a pole that is day six and this is a very important um one in the set because it foreshadows jesus what basically happens in this is that the israelites are very impatient and basically because of that they are being bitten by snakes and they want this to stop so moses goes ahead and talks to God and God tells him to build a bronze snake on a pole and whoever sees the bronze snake will not die but live. It's literally a foreshadow of Jesus for whoever sees the sun and follows him will not die. So yeah that's an incredible foreshadow. Let's go to the next day which is day seven and that is David. So David this is a young version of him so his design is uh, from the actual Young David show that Angel Studios is doing that hasn't actually come out yet by the time of this recording. Let's go to the next one which is day 8 and it's a sheep, a micro build of a sheep and this is one of the sheep that goes to Jesus' birth to see Jesus because the angels told him to go and see Jesus because the Messiah is born. Let's go to the next one and it is day 9, Mary. So Mary is actually his her design is based on the chosen but not the young version uh mary but the older version mary even though this is the young version mary and let's go to the next one which is a donkey this donkey is actually created by this user right here and it's a pretty look good looking donkey this is the donkey that carries mary 
uh, throughout her uh, journey to Bethlehem. And the next one is a camel. It's another built brick built stuff, but this is a pretty basic, like barely like this is a super ba basic uh, build of a camel. But this camel is supposed to be a foreshadow of the uh, wise men that are going to see Jesus. Fun fact, the wise men don't actually appear exactly when Jesus is born, but they come afterwards. Let's go to the next day. So the next day is going to be Joseph. So Joseph is the next day. Joseph, the legal father of Jesus, and his design isn't really based on anything, actually. It's just more like a basic design of of how people think of how joseph would have looked like let's go to the next one which is going to be peter the disciple of jesus so peter is his design is basically from the chosen all the way like completely uh, the complete same like design from the chosen and yeah it looks pretty cool let's go to the next one which is going to be the cross this cross is actually not made by me, it's made by this user, and this cross is incredible. This cross is incredible, and I really love the addition of the crown of thorns included here. Now, let's go to the next build, and the next day is going to be day 15, which is the empty tomb. The empty tomb, which signifies Jesus being alive and not dead. If you don't know, Jesus lived 33 years on this earth and died for our sins so that we could live eternity with him and not and not die in hell. He loved us so much that he came to earth to die for our sins. So this is the empty tomb that represents the resurrection of Jesus. It's incredible. So let's go to the next day, which is going to be Paul, an apostle of Jesus, is very, very influential, especially him writing like half of the New Testament. So it's pretty incredible. He was used by God. Um, the Holy Spirit was within him. And the things that Paul actually went through, he was a Jew that killed Christians beforehand. And Jesus went ahead and stopped him, told him to go ahead and spread the word of God. His accessories are that he's writing a letter. Um, it could be any letter but I like to think it's the Corinthian letter. Um, but yeah, that's what Paul has in his hands. So let's see the next day. And the next day is going to be the shepherd is the same shepherd that the angels go ahead and show up and tell them about Jesus's birth and how the Messiah is in a manger. And they go ahead and see uh, Jesus's birth. So this shepherd is loosely based on the uh, shepherd from the pilot of the chosen that is why you see you know the hair is like that kind of curlyish hair and his kind of dirty robes so let's go to the next build and it is going to be day 18 and it's the angel angel gabriel to be exact and angel gabriel is the one who tells mary about jesus's birth and how she's going to bear a son as a virgin and it's going to be the Messiah, the one who's going to save everybody from their sins. I don't really know what to give him, like what design to give him or anything like that. So I just went ahead and made a gold transparent angel, honestly. Let's go to the next one, which is 19, Jesus' throne. So this is Jesus' throne. And his throne is basically just one of like Avengers Age of Ultron sets a long time ago. And it's just uh, Ultron's throne but in gold you can also put jesus on the throne and let's go to the next one which is peter's boat so incredible it's incredible the miracles that happen in this boat in peter's boat and because peter's in this set you can put peter on there in that boat and recreate that miracle and talking about that we have the word of god the word of god which is the bible and even though it doesn't say bible right there because i don't really know how to customize bricks or minifigures in mega bricks this is the bible next is jesus christ the word himself uh the word made flesh god made flesh so this is god jesus christ the son of the living god and his design is based on this artwork right here and i tried my best to make it look like 
it in a way this face is actually from star wars and it's actually a pretty good looking face for jesus um his eyes i guess i suppose aren't the best but this is the same design that i use for the series that i made on youtube that isn't stop motion or animated or anything it's just the gospel like 18 episodes with a picture in the background and i use this design for jesus and a couple of other designs that you've already seen in this advent calendar itself so you can go ahead and watch it it's on my youtube and playlist called the good news let's go to the next one which is baby jesus this is baby jesus we're in day 23 yeah this is baby jesus wrapped in brown clothing and as you can see there's an h in the middle but i don't know how to take that off but either way now let's see what baby jesus goes ahead and sleeps on which is the manger this is the first king-sized bed incredible uh, design by this chooser this is day 24 and that's how the bible advent calendar is completed so yeah that's my lego bible advent calendar i hope that you really liked it see you in the next video merry christmas and remember jesus is the reason for the season god bless you